This video demonstrates how to properly enroll an employee for biometrics at an InTouch terminal. Depending on the InTouch setup, you can use a supervisor badge or, if you have a manager license, your employee badge number. In our case, our manager is entering his badge number and providing the manager login password. Our InTouch has a manager mode screen programmed to allow the manager to enroll and unenroll employees from biometric usage. Tap Enroll Employee. Swipe the employee badge or key in the badge ID and tap Enter. If the InTouch rejects the ID, the person is not a home employee or the employee information has not yet been downloaded. If the InTouch accepts the ID and the employee is already enrolled, tap Yes to re-enroll the employee or tap No to return to the Manager Mode screen. If the InTouch accepts the ID, and the employee is not already enrolled, you will be prompted to select a primary finger. For best results, use an index finger, ring finger, or middle finger. Avoid using a thumb or pinky due to the size and nature of the surface of those fingers. In our case, we want to enroll the right index finger, so tap the second square on the right hand. Now, have the employee gently slide the finger forward and against the ridge lock without touching the sensor area. This is important, as it helps dissipate electrostatic discharge that could adversely affect the in-touch. Once the ridge is lined up with the joint, drop the finger on the sensor and hold it on the sensor with firm pressure, but not too much. Remember, it's a sensor, not a button. Wait for the in-touch to indicate the enrollment is good. If there is a problem, the in-touch will sense if the employee should move the finger up, back, left, or right, and offer to retry the enrollment. If the enrollment was fair, you'll be given the choice to accept the best result of multiple attempts, select another finger, or retry the same finger. It is recommended you retry or choose another finger. Selecting Accept Best will register the highest scoring attempt. If the enrollment was poor, you'll be prompted to retry up to three times. After the third poor attempt, you'll be given an option to accept best. But be aware, that if you are performing a biometric identification enrollment, that accepting a poor enrollment will require the employee to swipe their badge every time they use the terminal. Once the enrollment is good, the InTouch will need to verify the captured enrollment and will present the enrollment screen again. Ask the employee to place the same finger that was just enrolled on the sensor in the same manner. If the verification is successful, the InTouch accepts the enrollment. Again, any problem with the verification results in a warning and options for a retry. After a successful enrollment of the primary finger, tap yes or no to enroll another finger as an alternate. It is recommended to enroll a second finger in the event the primary finger is damaged and cannot be used to match the template captured during enrollment. Since you have already enrolled the right index finger, this time enroll the left index finger. Again, have the employee slide the chosen finger forward on the ridge and drop the core of the finger down on the sensor. However, this time your employee did not drop her finger in the center of the sensor. Let's see how the InTouch responds. The terminal displays the core locator on the screen and shows that the finger core needs to move down and to the right. Using the feedback on the screen, retry the enrollment with a repositioned finger. This time the enrollment was good. Just as with the primary finger, you'll need to test the enrollment of the secondary finger. This employee is now successfully enrolled. If you have another employee to enroll, tap yes or tap no to return. Remember, newly captured biometric templates will only be available on other devices after the next scheduled device updates.